Sie wird packen. Tarabello. Ave Community. Hier on Tribune again. It's Friday and we're about to witness a game nothing short of spectacular moves. Some of them instructional and some of them that don't deserve that description. <laughs> well, we are uh, about to go to our first exhibition in two, uh, two weeks uh, where we will show our game to the world. And if you are maybe in Germany, Dortmund, then join us. Yeah, uh, the game of today is called Twice Dead and Yet Alive. And we will together discover why this is a title. Uh, by the way, the dude to the right is my son Max. I'm Carsten. And we are here to show you one of the most spectacular board games. Um, it's, it's, what is it? It's, it's a, a tactical battle game. Yeah. Yeah. Strategy battle game. <laughs> and one of these. How are games called where just two dudes are playing classical play classical board games? I okay. Uh, the game is about to bring down the leader of the enemy army. You have your forks around. These are uh, the slaves. Uh, these are your spearsmen, your archer. And if you get these bigger dudes, then you have the heavy armored rider. The heavy bolt gun and the Centuria, the 80 men elite force. Well, yeah. Uh, oh, come on, let's repair this board and let's get going. Uh, I'm I'm doing the camera again and Max is uh, the back and forth guy. I'm and in movement management. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what so, I try to, yeah, at first it is a good decision to bring these uh, flank side savvy, savvy savos, uh, slaves, to the battle by combining them into bigger units that can then participate in the attack, and you did the exact opposite. Yeah, the, the only reason it's not bad to do this is that we have a symmetry. A six-sided symmetry, uh, to be exact, so I can, in the following move, uh, combine them all into one singular unit. Ah, yeah. And so I'm actually doing the same thing, uh, thing but uh, a little bit different. Yeah, and uh, the game is nothing short of insane uh, most of the time. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm opening up this entire file for your ballista. See, but I'm on uh, the same move, uh, yeah, defending this guy, so there is no threat at the moment. And I'm trying to attack this with my archer. He's aiming directly at this catapult, but you go directly for the big dude. And I'm threatening you like this. Yeah. Yeah, you have to keep in mind that the Centuria is the, the only and one and only unit that can step over allied units. It cannot do this with enemy units, but it can, from the backside, assist in any assault these dudes uh, would like to do. Yeah. I'm so now you, you went on a retreat, but I attacked you again. Yeah, so I'm Which on a journey. Big threat. So, I'm just threatening to take you with one thing, and I would take three things, so that would not be good. And I'm and combining out of the way. And by doing so, I am, yeah, I am opening up this, still defend it, and I'm opening up these threats here. But you have, admittedly, there, there is no threat at all, because when you attack a Centuria, with no. a rider, no. then oh. yeah, yeah, and it's it's not that bad. You take four pieces and you turn the Centuria into a rider, and so you could take back. But it's protected. My so. my rider was protected, and this is very important if you do that. 
If the writer is not protected, then it's just an exchange. And maybe you improve the situation for your opponent because this writer would be in the center now. That's true. And now I chose to be a little bit more annoying. Uh, Hostile, and... my friend. This yeah, is... I'm not doing anything right now. I'm just bringing you a little bit of cookies or something. You are crossing the borderline. But you threaten me. No, I know, away. I'm on my homeland. And so, you know, <laughs> I, being the, the smart and kind person I am... Yeah, uh, trespasser! I just step <laughs> out of the way and you threaten me again. Uh, of course. Like this. Yeah, opening Which... up this. And by the way, double defending these two. Yeah, yeah. but um, I am... Uh, well, in Germany there's like a saying, the smarter one uh, surrenders, and that's what I did. And... <laughs> So okay, now I'm this threatening you like this. So this is attacked by 8 and 3, which makes a total attack power of 11, and that's only 4, so uh, that's a little bit of overkill, but, you know. Mm. I was just oh, no. stating my point, standing here in the center, saying, hey, no confrontation, I'm ready to fight. But you're a belligerent C, and now the next ballista on the board directly targeting my, my, uh, yes. These are the guardian angels of my tribune. And now I, I, I'm obliged to, to strike back. I'm sorry mm -hmm. to say. Well, I'm just shooting back. You, you attack me first. But <laughs> I, I see that you have a very different opinion on this matter, so... Yeah. Let's not address it. That's what um, politicians usually do. So, the uh, thing is, <laughs> now this does not do a lot right now, and um, I'm... Uh, I, but I'm not in any pressure, uh, or um, uh, I don't have a reason to do anything right now, because if you would take like this, I just take like this. Yeah. It's and this secretary is... Yeah, the secretary okay. is, is, is defended, so I could take, you could take, and it's a perfect exchange. But this is not threatening in a way, this this file, but you prevent me from going here. Uh, so that it true. is. Uh, the reason I did this is it's I'm, I'm trying to hug you, and um, that's just a little bit closer. Mm. You no, know, hugging someone with and a lot of distance. In wrestling, work. there is something called the bear hug. That's when you squeeze the shit out of your opponent. Okay. Man. I'm. This is kind of a Zwischenzug. I'm going to this diagonal at first, attacking you here. Uh, and then afterwards, deciding what to do about this situation. Because, you know, I'm about to lose six pieces in a move, and I don't like this. Now. Should I have done... Whoop, no, that's not what happened, did it? Oh. I guess well, that's exactly uh, what happened. See, the I mean, uh, thing is, I think I should have done this. Uh, for a probably. very simple reason. Uh, yeah. If you take, it's just a trade. And this one is weak after the trade, because uh, it's defended by this one. Uh, on the other hand, if you do not take uh, and trade, then I can trade on my own terms. So that's kind of nice. But uh, I didn't do that, apparently. Yeah, okay. And, and I'm backing off a little. I mean, placing a Centuria directly in front of your Tribune means he's not going to die in the next few moves. And it holds everything together. But still, you are conducting this. I am not in charge and I cannot really do something about your, your Centuria right away. Because I cannot split up my Centuria. She has multiple jobs at this time. Yeah. So, currently, 
I think without a doubt you should jump forward. Didn't do that though. I don't know why actually. He uh, wanted personally, to I, I think you wanted to block this diagonal. Oh yeah. But like see I just really like the prospect of this. You can come in here like that, but whoa 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 whoa. Like I don't know. Feels like a me position. Mm -hmm. And I, I probably would do this. I would lose four pieces of the Centuria, maybe. But I could directly jump in and then I have two of these equity directly in your neighborhood. Ah, still do it. Now, this is a very interesting move. In the mm. sense of... Uh, I'm just losing two pieces without any meaningful compensation. Uh, see, the reason why I did this is because I thought, well, uh, where can I go? I could go here, uh, and that's more or less it. Oops. Uh, and so I thought, well, I don't want to go to this hexagon. So why don't I just go here? And so in my mind, I was like, I was uh, looking at this from like a skewed angle and I thought, well, takes two, then I'm going to take this. Yeah. Now, the problem with this is, it's as you not... might uh, realize, yeah, it's not the same file. If you take this and then put it into the air, <laughs> yes. I can actually do this. Yeah, Which that's that's happen. That happens in a battle when you have to make these split-second decisions. Sometimes I don't know how many, much time you spend on this move. Too but, little. Uh, take maybe take take back one. No, two back. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> okay, it is not okay. in any way, shape, or form interesting. Yeah, okay, now um, you stepped out of this line uh, and directly found yourself in trouble again, but you can slip away. And by this, changing the color complex, now you are in the white hexagons and on this diagonal, and this can become very useful in the future. See, I'm trying to be the first who is calling the shots. And at that point, you have to maybe. Oh, I just wanted to have a riddle here, but now you solved oh. it. Oh, sorry. Can you? Can you? Yeah, that's okay. Can you directly take this dude? No, you have to be patient a little because there's a defender of all this. Now you have to eradicate this one. Okay. You gain three pieces, you lose four. This is not a good exchange, but. Afterwards, you get three additional pieces, and then it is a good choice because you not only get two pieces more in the material, but you also have this Angor situation. Angor means it's fear of the Tribune. He has to move right away because he's in trouble, he's under attack, and you cannot kill the attacking unit, and so you have to move or combine out of the way. And you can e even do something uh, like taking Impero, even though I don't think that would be much of a uh, help, but in this kind of situation... That first, is... uh, now I had to deal with this situation first. I combined out of the way, and this feels troublesome, because now I'm the Centuria, okay, I'm very powerful, but see, Seven of my soldiers are now taken out of my entire army. Uh, I'm already down in material. Uh, not quite yet, but counting these seven additionally to this, I'm down a lot of material. Yeah, so the uh, thing is, like I think, yeah, that, that's uh, a move, certainly. Uh, you want to take this. Mm -hmm. uh, now, without a doubt, you should trade. Yeah, because I uh, did not see. But you did not yeah, see either. I didn't do that. Um, and that so was you... once dead and yet alive. <laughs> yeah, so... Well, it was protected, but... Like, the point of it is... 
You could take me and threaten me, and that's just... Yeah, it's just nuts, yeah. Thankfully, though, I have a kind of fork, uh, yeah. but you can do some shenanigans, and uh, I can actually not cash in my, well, fork. Because I'm attacked, and I could only harm this, and, well, I wouldn't get out of the way if I just harmed them, so... I needed to get my uh, myself out of this precarious position. Oh, what? Nope. <laughs> okay. This dude yeah. just wanted to resurrect. And so he attacked me. I jumped back. Uh, and, and he took this it. is such a disrespectful move of mine. Just taking yeah. these. One pieces and losing two. Yeah, <laughs> that was kind of strange. Anyhow, it didn't really matter at this point. Then you walked into a fork, which I uh, happily accepted. But now, just just a thought: Could you take three pieces and lose three? No. So what you do? Uh, especially as these, uh, the Centuria can not only take this one, but also these two. So you want to basically protect both. Mm -hmm. And the way you would do this is by doing this. My gosh. Uh, the repair. Let's let's press the repair button first. Let's let's step one step back. So this was the situation, and now. Yeah, you combine in a way where you attack my Tribune, you defend this dude home alone here. Yeah, now... This one still threatens here. Yeah. Now, um, that's a very nice thing to do. Uh, however, you, you could have done something... I would love to go there, but I can't. Wow. Yeah, you can can actually do very little about this, huh? Well, I digress. So, you went away, <laughs> I took. Simple stuff. Yeah. You took here, and um, I attacked, I think. Like this. Yeah. So you attacked me, and I attacked you. And, and you attacked me, and I very stupidly went into the only place on the board where I can easily be trapped. And I, I directly... I, I, right, I went for it. Usually I I'm not weaving here. those nets. Actually, in this position, this would be deadly. Because... Yeah, this, I did not see this is still defended. This, so it's and a that's very it bad would move. Be a next, you're right. This is a next. What you did though is you very clearly wanted to have me as your guest. <laughs> Thing oh, is, oh no! I wasn't really fond of that. Oh, now that I could have done a few things. One very, uh, let's say, interesting approach could have been to. Uh, create an Aquas by uh, jumping into here, like this, being taken, and then going like that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Possible. Uh, and if you do something like this, I can jump here and uh, hope for the best. But uh, no, actually, that does not work. Yeah, that's still well, that. Very unfortunate. <laughs> So the thing I'm is, disgusted. I needed... I'm a little disgusted by myself that I did not see this final move. It's it's such a, it's quite an easy move. So the thing is, I needed to get out of there uh, as soon as possible. Yeah, and then, uh, I I thought, well, I have to redirect here and there. It's a little awkward move uh, route, but. I will get here, and you can do anything about it, but you could. 
Now opening up this door so I can sneak in and then grab you. Did you cut, nope. did you cut away every possibility of mine? I simply didn't know what to do and I had a look on the clocks and thought maybe I can get you to back to wall by just playing fast. But fast and stupid moves are not good. Well, uh, so I attacked you, um, and I sacrificed uh, for, for the simple reason that I needed to get out of there. Mm. Uh, and you will see that you did not take uh, another time, which is rather strange. I think that would be a very I, I... decent thing. But um, anyhow, I took there, and now I could, again, uh, walk out of there. A little bit stressful, though, uh, but uh, nothing too bad. <laughs> you even achieved to get more time on your clock. Yep. And even more. Yeah. Always collecting the additional five seconds, <laughs> and... By the this way. is the second time. Jesus Christ, wh why? <laughs> um, now, I did this. Thing is, why not take? Harm this unit. Like, yeah, I could harm, I could take like this. And, uh, yeah. Which would lead to this. I don't know. Didn't see it at the time. Had low time, too. So, um... Yeah, and proceeded to lose another four pieces. Well, <laughs> yeah, uh, and then I, uh, like, attacked you again. Mm. Nothing, like, too deep of a thought, it's just like... Let, let's, let's get accustomed to just repair the board and then press the play button again, because the system behaves well, a little uh, awkward. Well, it messed do. up on the move, Yeah, when I pressed next move. Yeah, you press next move, then it first repairs, and sometimes it repairs in a bad way. You have to, to repair it multiple times, and then everything is fine and set, and you can go on. So, uh, I attacked you again, you moved again, and then I pinned you. Yeah, you, you could have even have yes. taken just I could have taken pieces. three, but that's not what I was thinking about, apparently. Um, and you did this, now we were Ooh. very safe. <laughs> um, uh. Well, and I went here. Uh, I threatened this one, and uh, you, I think, protected it, yes. I and, do not have um, an army anymore. I can play checkers now. Um, I can see, I have, the biggest unit was a spearsman here. And he was to no avail because he was attacked and lonely and, and... This is ridiculous. Yeah, so we have a, a few strange moves now. Uh, I went out of the way. That, that, that was nice. You gave me one move because by, by positioning the secretaries here, you did not threaten me. And so I had the momentum again. Now I'm chasing you again. Yeah, and I went there. You did this, did not do a lot, honestly, so I just ignored it. Then you threatened me. Yeah, and now and you escaped, right? Yeah, and I, I ignored it because, um, well, why engage in any sort of thing? And, well, that was the last uh, mistake I made. <laughs> yeah, a kill is well, much more it worth happens. it than an attack. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But we had to show you this game. It had its bright and instructional moments. Uh, and yeah, we're back on the goodbye screen, pal. So I hope you enjoyed the game, or the game. I did. Uh, either the game we played or the game in it of itself. Uh, it's called Tribune. Uh, the website uh, can be found under www.tribune.org. Um, I guess it's yeah. down in the description below. 
Isn't it? Yeah, they are. It should be. Even though we could just paste like the website link there for your convenience, I guess. <laughs> and um, I yeah, I, you had a great time. Uh, we wish you a great and wonderful day and a uh, great time. And we'll see. Uh, oh, well, I'll say see you soon. On Tribune.